see what's happening. Hmm. Good. Hey, so what's going on? Smoke with Scruggs here. I hope everybody has a happy and healthy Merry Christmas. Whatever it is that you celebrate this time of year. Um, but uh, I bought me a little early Christmas present <laughs> for myself. And um, I, I just finished putting it together and I just kind of went want y'all to check it out and it's cheap but i got it for a cheap price so here it is it's the walmart expert grill rotisserie that's the little booklet and the manual there and this is what it looks like it's really small it's like 25 inches tall, so it fits on a tabletop, which is kind of cool because I've been looking for something so that I don't have to load my Weber up all the time whenever I want to go somewhere. And this came with a rotisserie, and I got it for $37.50. It took me an hour to put it together. It's got a little motor there. It runs off of two D batteries, and it's also got a plug-in where you can plug it into a 110 electrical outlet. Um, the thing that I was impressed with was the stability of those legs. Those legs are are, are, are pretty stout. Now this, yeah, I mean it's a really cheap grill. But for $37, I bought it mainly for the rotisserie. Let's just cut this on. Now, these are old batteries. So, I need to get some new ones. It might turn faster than that. I don't know. But, you know, that's that's pretty good for, you know, cooking the chicken on. Supposedly, it will hold a 22-pound turkey. So, I don't know about all that now, but... I bought it mainly for the rotisserie part, so um, yeah, it's got a little handle there, and uh, got a little groove cut out so that it sits in there. It took me about an hour to put it together, and um, I think some changes, well not really a change, I think what I'm going to do is... In the bottom of this thing, this grate comes out. It comes with a little nifty little hook here thing. And uh, basically, you just lift it out when it's hot. It comes right on out like that, which is kind of cool. And then you're going to add you some, some stuff in it. It's got two vents in it, one on each side. And uh, it's, I'd say it's pretty tinny. The sides are actually made out of a thicker material than the body itself. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut me a piece of um, thick steel. Or buy me a piece of steel and cut it out and put it in the bottom of this so that the hot coals don't set directly on the bottom. And I think it'll make the bottom last a little longer. Um, some people put, um, I've seen some people put sand, but sand kind of holds moisture. So I think just a, a thicker piece of steel in the bottom of this, or maybe even bend it up on the sides to keep the coals from, uh, from getting it so hot. It's powder coated, but I don't know how, you know, the paint's probably not going to last on it, but. Yeah, for thirty-seven dollars and fifty cents, I didn't think I went wrong. So we're gonna try this out here. I don't think it's gonna happen before Christmas. But yeah, for the price, and now I don't know. You know, they might be doing away with these. I think they were regularly like seventy-some dollars. 
But even at that, 70 some dollars, you know. I can't remember how much cooking space it has, but I don't know. You could probably put about 20 burgers on that thing, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, five. Yeah, you could probably put about 20 burgers on that thing. So, yeah, new toy. So, hopefully, we'll get a chicken or something and stick on this thing and see how it does. So, I appreciate you watching. And uh, just hit that little notification bell. And uh, hopefully, we'll get a video up soon of me using this thing. And as always, Appreciate you watching and keep on smoking. Have a nice Christmas.